Hi, I'm Esther Jones and I'm a hypnobirthing practitioner and I've been working with couples and women since 2007. So today I want to talk a little bit about anchors. So an anchor is something that just automatically makes us feel calm and relaxed and by incorporating these anchors into our birth preparation we'll really have some wonderful extra tools that we can easily call upon during the birth itself. So there are many types of anchor and in a later video I'm going to be exploring how your partner can use touch and their voice also as relaxation anchors. But today I'm going to focus on four types of anchor that you can easily create in your home and in your birthing space. So ideally set up a space with these anchors where you can spend 15 to 20 minutes a day just practicing your breathing and connecting with your baby. And remember that in order for these things to become anchors, you really need to be practicing with them as much as possible. And then they'll, they'll just become powerful reminders for your body and your mind to automatically relax and let go to. So let's start with music. Studies show that music helps re, uh, reduce anxiety and labor, but it's also really important to choose the right music. So you may find that your favorite tunes are okay for early labor, but if they have a fast or changing tempo, or maybe they have lyrics that bring back memories or associations, well, in that case, they're likely to become very distracting as you move along in labor. And much better is something soft and relaxing that you're just able to zone out to. So music um, specifically designed to accompany meditation can be a really good choice. Um, and really, it's essential to try out different pieces of music during your breathing and relaxation practice to give you an idea if that's something that will work for you during labor. And once you've made your choice, by practicing your relaxation and your breathing techniques to this music, you'll be conditioning yourself to relax deeply to it. Um, when I was pregnant with my second son, I used a specific piece of music during my practice. And um, I listened to it over and over again then during the birth, during his birth. And, um, it was really effective and for many years after, whenever I heard that piece of music, I could just feel my body automatically and just release and, and let go. So I can really vouch for this one. So second, we have visualizations and you can check out my video on visualizations um, if you haven't already seen it. So some examples of visualizations that you might be using during birth could be um, the waves at the shore of an ocean, rising sun, or just a really beautiful calm place in nature. Whatever images you choose, finding photographs or pictures and having them near you in your practice space. And you can really be looking at them um, before closing your eyes and to really bring them alive in your mind. And then favorite objects. So uh, touch an object that makes you feel relaxed and safe and that you can easily take to your chosen place of birth. It can be a great companion for your practice sessions and that could be a cozy blanket or it could be um, a favorite cushion just something that feels very comfortable and reassuring to hold. And finally, aromatherapy. So the sense of smell is strongly tied both to memory and to emotional response. And there's lots of evidence that aromatherapy is very helpful during labor for reducing anxiety and creating a sense of calm. And many hospitals now have um, aromatherapy diffusers in their birthing rooms for using essential oils. Um, you can also use essential oils as part of a massage blend during labor. Um, so oils that have been shown to be effective in labor include lavender, jasmine, clary sage, citrus blossom, and ginger. Uh, and there are some others too. Um, but it's really important that you know how you're going to respond to different oils before choosing one in particular. So again, take your time to explore what's right for you before incorporating that into your daily practice. So using sound, sight, touch, and smell, four really easy ways to create powerful relaxation anchors.